Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing okay. So this video is a bit of an extra, extra one I thought I would do and it would be pretty cool as we're literally a couple of days away from Halloween. So it isn't gonna be as long and as detailed as the normal videos that we normally do on the channel, but I still thought it would be pretty, um, pretty cool. So we are gonna visit the house in Enfield which was supposedly haunted by a poltergeist in the 70s um, and at the time there was a family that lived in the house and um, there was all sorts of paranormal activity going on and recorded um, I think it was to do with the the gentleman that originally lived there who we're going to visit his final resting place in a minute um, he passed away in the actual house in his chair from a, a hemorrhage and um, he haunted the house after he passed away wanting the family to move out so we could get his house back um, supposedly and during the time there was loads and loads of uh, press coverage about it I think People came over from America, paranormal investigators. It was in the press, the police were called several times and supposedly they witnessed what was going on as well. Um, and it was all detailed and logged. And there's also um, another side to it where it's been said that it was all a hoax and a bit of a setup, and it was all done to draw attention um, and make some money potentially. Um, so we are going to visit the final resting place of the gentleman that passed away in the house and supposedly whose ghost did the haunting. Um, and we're also gonna have a very quick look um, at the house itself. So I hope you enjoy this one guys. Let's have a look. So I believe that the final resting place is just here in front of us. So I think this William is buried here with his wife. From what I've read, Treasured memories of a dear husband and father, William Charles Wilkins, died 20th of June 1963, aged 61. Also, Ethel May Wilkins died 19th of April, I think, 1972, aged 64 years old. So we are just coming up to the house on the right, number 284 in North London, Enfield. And this is where all the um, supernatural activity happened in the 70s 
So it was this one here. So we are just walking down the alleyway which leads to behind the Enfield Potter Geist house. So I'm just going to see if we can have a look at the back of the house and the bedrooms potentially. So from here That is the house, or the back of the house. And obviously the bedrooms that we can see, that's where it all would have went down with the poltergeist activity. loads of CCTV here as well looking at us which could be partly due to all the interest and people wanting to come and have a look but that is the house where it all went down in the late 70s interesting definitely interesting and it does make you wonder like everything if it really happened and what went on um let me know what you think guys as always let me know in the comments below if you've got an interest in this side of things the paranormal world if you've been past the house out of interest or if even you visited the grave that we've just looked at um and even more let me know if you believe it was real if it was a hoax or um yeah your thoughts and more importantly hope you guys have an amazing halloween and um, we will see you on the next video take it easy guys see you soon